Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, we all know that not a lot of guys are dating anymore, right? And guys, you'd have to be an absolute fool to use dating apps, hands, gender, all this other stuff, right? Now guys, there's a small group of Chads and Tyrones that are sitting there cleaning up on Tinder, right? Tinder and Hinge, right? Just blasting it up, right? <laughs> And then what happens is that none of the average dudes get any play, and all the chicks are desperate for Chad, desperate for Tyrone. And, the, and, the, and then what happens is that they all get on the dumpster fire known as TikTok and whine and moan. No, no I think I'm just emotional. Why don't you just that? About how they can't get Chad and Tyrone to commit, right? And they're addicted to dating apps. So, guys. We're gonna go to the dumpster fire known as TikTok and look at some of these chicks whining about the very dating apps that they're addicted to. But before we do, like, subscribe, drop a comment, guys, because it really helps keep this channel going. Check out my second channel, my locals, the playlist at the end. And guys, let's look at this article first. Look at this. I was addicted to dating apps until I uncovered the real problem. Now, guys, I'll put the link to this in the description, guys, because I'm not going to read the whole thing. But this girl says, I met a guy on Tinder, so we went on three dates in two weeks, and then he ended it by text. He said I wasn't healthy. <laughs> ah, look at that, guys. Look at that, right? I read the message and then spent the next 45 seconds feeling bad, but within minutes, I was back tapping my way through Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge. For the next three hours, I eased the pain of rejection by doom swiping through potential matches. This was my pattern. I downloaded dating apps, hunted for potential lovers, and when I found a candidate, I talked or texted for a day or two before going on a date, which sometimes involved sleeping with them immediately, guys. Look at that. So she would get mad at Tyrone or, or Chad for um, for rejecting her, and then she would just let some other, anyone just blast up the walls. And this is why all these chicks have such high body counts now. Now guys, let's go to the dumpster fire known as TikTok. We're all talking about how she had to delete Hinge, the dating app, because it was affecting her confidence. I've heard so many people complain about Hinge now, and I have the answer. It might make you feel a little better, but let's talk about how Hinge is literally the worst dating app on the market right now. First of all, this previous creator is talking about a complaint I think we've all had with Hinge, where, like, where are all the attractive people? Like, it just feels like we're never getting any really attractive matches, which is weird because when you go on Bumble or Tinder, right, it's a completely different story. You're getting matches. They're all there. You can see them. So it's like, do attractive people just not use Hinge? And No, guys, let's pump the brakes. <laughs> Guys, Hinge has an algorithm that matches you with who they think fits you best, right? So it sounds like she's pissed off uh, when average-looking dudes are being matched with her because she's average! <laughs> no, they do, but there's a reason they hide them. Similar to this creator and many girls and boys I've spoken with, you're just, like, not getting as many matches on Hinge as other apps. But my friends and I have noticed that we get more roses and like paid matches on that app than any other app. So it just doesn't add up. Why would people be more willing to pay for us to be matched there instead of free? And many of us have noticed they keep the most attractive members behind this paid rose wall on this little section at the bottom of the app. Now, if you're doing the math, which I know we're beautiful people, so that's uh, hard for us please. to do. That means that Hinge is keeping you hidden behind this rose wall as well. And they're forcing people to have to pay to match with you because Hinge does not care about finding you your soulmate or someone to go out with. They just care about taking your money. And you notice, guys, how she said a soulmate? Guys, what does it have to do with a man's looks? Isn't it crazy? As if a dude being handsome is going to automatically make him your soulmate. Guys, there is no soulmate. In a lot of societies, there's a lot more, more women than there are men. Also keeping the attractive people locked away and trapped on their app as long as possible. But also don't fall for them trying to like force you to pay the most expensive subscription uh, prices out of any of the apps. Like it's getting insanely priced, but back in the day when it was like 10, 12 bucks, I decided to try it for one month to see if it would be any better at all. And I found that it literally wasn't any different despite the fact that they're constantly advertising it as the best way to use their app. So like what is the point of me giving you that money if it's not any better? But yeah, it just feels like Hinge doesn't want to actually find you a match. They just want to make your life as difficult as possible. The concept of the app is amazing, but the execution is absolutely garbage. So if anything, Hinge is almost deterring attractive people from using their app by using this method. We just haven't all figured it out yet. 
No, she's just mad because as a chick, she has to spend money in order to find the guy she wants. So in other words, this app puts chicks in a, in a man's position having to spend money in any type of dating scenario. Oops. Look at that. And the idea that a, that a woman has to spend time and effort to actually get a guy, right? How dare you? <laughs> Guys, she has 1,300 com comments here, and they're all saying the same thing, right? This Hinge's dating app algorithm does not want you to be successful because of the revenue loss. So yes, guess what? You have to spend money, and they hate that. Look at that, man. Man, oh man, oh man. And guys, are hashtags. Ready? Hashtag dating. Hashtag dating apps. Hashtag dating advice. Hashtag relationship. Clown world. Do not look at me like that. I know you have it. Hinge. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait and try and match just one more person because that person might be your person. Delete it today. Delete it right. Oh, oh wait a minute. Is this person a... <laughs> Wait a minute and listen to the bass in that voice, guys. I'm not here to talk about my transition. I'm here to kick some fing ass. <laughs> Because coming from somebody who was a former advocate of dating apps, because, you know, you can meet some very, very cool people, whether romantic or platonic, on dating apps, I started to realise that all the insane people are gathered on these dating apps. Let me walk you through some of the most common dating app scenarios. You match. You start talking. Their replies are a little shaky, but you know, hey, not everyone's on their phone all the time. You start getting into conversation, it's flowing, and then the person says to you, oh, I don't really have much time to commit to dating. Yet, you are on a dating app. Isn't that funny, guys? That sounds like a complaint that a guy would have, right? Well, she's after a Tyrone Thunderstroke. She's after Chad Wonderbank. Or this is England. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 N Neville Nuclear Dong. <laughs> oh, man. Liam Longstroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh god does that sound like the thought process of a sane person let alone somebody that you want to date another one let's revisit the topic of slow replies now i don't expect everybody to be on their phone all the time Fair enough. We've all got shit to do. It's a cost of living crisis. Our phones and interaction is probably the last thing that we want to do. But understand that you signed up to this dating app. Nobody else. You signed up. And you are actively still matching people even though you don't have the capacity to talk to them. Which made me quickly come to the realisation that a lot of people are on dating apps for validation. They are on there for an ego stroke. You think? You think? Look at that, guys. This is why they can't stand it. This is why they can't stand dating apps. is because it puts them in a man's position when it comes to the guys that they want. And now they're complaining about it. Yeah, just like a woman. And nothing more. And lest we not forget the audacity of some people, guys especially will be coming to you with confidence that you know they don't have in their day-to-day -day lives. But you saw a young black hottie like myself. <laughs> and decided that you were going to try a thing. Don't ever try that thing again. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait until you match just one more person. Delete that dating app today. A young black hottie, huh? 
You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run them up. Clown world. Guys, there's 2,900 comments on here of all these stupid 304s all saying the same thing. And guys, that's because these chicks are lazy, right? They want the whole world to come to them. But then they didn't realize on these dating apps, like I said, uh, 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 your Chad Wonderbang, right? Liam Longstroke, right? They're just sit sitting there getting all the chicks, you know, smashing them all. Look at that. And guys, she's trying to say she's that she's deleting them, but just like the girl in the article, she's addicted. All these girls are addicted, right? They're like gambling addicts where it's the act of it. You know what I mean? Guys, are hashtags. Hashtag dating apps. I'd be like, hashtag hens dating. Hashtag dating advice. Has, hashtag Tinder. Hashtag Bumble date, guys. Clown world. <laughs> I told you guys. I told you guys. These chicks whine and moan about these dating apps, but they're addicted to them. They can't get off them. And guys, where is this whole, this women's empowerment thing, right? Where they think that it's, that it's some, uh, Empowering thing. Just let all these dudes smash, right? I am woman, hear me roar. In numbers too big to ignore. Look at that. Well, in general, guys, she says, uh, sometimes there's another date, maybe two, but by the end of date one, I was obsessing about our lives together. Look at that, guys. As a pattern went within a couple of weeks, the man, w w woman, or whatever would end it, and I'd resume the panic cycle of tapping and scroll scrolling. I was becoming hopeless. I believe that I was never going to find a partner at the same time. I was miserably addicted to dating apps. So yeah, guys, I'll drop the link to this in the description. But guys, this is a lot of chicks now. They're addicted to these dating apps, and it's sad, right? Because as you know, all these chicks you see on dating apps have just been letting all these chads, Ty Tyrones, and if they're older, Pookie, Nug Nug, and Gavin just spray up the walls. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Be careful on those dating apps, guys. I'm out of here.